Hey, how's everybody doing tonight? It's Saturday. Hopefully you've been able to relax this weekend. I um, shared a video yesterday night, last night, and wanted to make sure that everybody heard the news because um, this is becoming more of a popular um, topic and I was super excited to hear about it. Um, and what it is, is that there is a new um, up and coming natural extract that is being used to help kids with ADHD and teenagers with depression. And those, um, that particular extract that was mentioned in the ABC um, news clip that I shared yesterday, you can go back and watch it. It's only like a minute and a half. But that um, extract has already been used in Japan um, the doctors recommend it before they start recommending medication for children with ADHD. So that tells you something like, hey, they're onto something um, if they're reaching for that first be before medication. Um, so if there is, if you're one of those parents or you've been looking for a natural solution, um, this is something that might catch your attention because it has been shown to in studies it's been shown to help alleviate those um, symptoms of ADHD. Hey Joy! Um, it's also been shown to help alleviate depression in teenagers and it's called saffron extract in case I forgot to mention it already. It is the extract so if you were to go get pure saffron it would be super expensive like thousands of dollars but if you get the saffron extract it can still have the same um, benefits. Um, there's plenty of benefits, but the one I wanted to focus on tonight was the ADHD symptoms and the depression. Those are huge and for our children. Um, my kids have been taking some supplements. Um, there's um, three different supplements. One of them has the saffron extract in it. And um, probably more than a month ago, um, one of my boys was taken off of his ADHD ADHD medication because his doctor said we need to stop it immediately because of the side effects he was having. It was the severe side effects that you don't want your kiddos to have and she said stop. Don't give this to him anymore. We're going to take a break. Let it get out of his system. And I said well can I have permission to give these supplements to him instead? And she said sure go ahead. I've looked at the ingredients. That's fine. Those look, those look safe. Um, so we were continue to give them that and we um, have been noticing compared to where he was a year ago before meds before he got put on medication he was having emotional outbursts he was melting down at school he was kicking chairs and and very aggressive so that ODD was coming out the oppositional defiance disorder um, because that tends to come out when you leave ADHD untreated, just in case you didn't know that. That's where ODD comes from. Um, and so he was, he had gone on for years and it had just gotten so bad it was becoming emotional and aggression coming out in the classroom. Um, so what we've noticed this time around with him being off the meds and being on supplements that he's been so much, um, well, now that we don't have to deal with the side effects of the medication, that's been wonderful in itself. But for him to be able to um, not have those emotional outbursts without the meds, um, that's been a huge blessing. He is, um, there's still some, a little bit of stuff going on that we would want to be better. But like I said, he's only been on it for 30 days. So... Um, the more you take it, the better it gets, but there have been some alleviation of some of those focus issues and um, depression, um, so we're excited about that. We've also been giving it to our oldest son, and he um, has almost immediate results when he takes, it's a little pixie stick, so they just dump it in their mouth and it's in their system. And so our oldest son, he has a noticeable difference with his attitude, like if you think... I, he's 10, <laughs> but he acts like a teenager sometimes with the attitude and the, uh, a little bit of aggression there too, but when he takes that pixie stick, he calms down, he's able to focus, and uh, we see that difference in him. So I think it really depends on the severity of the ADHD. 
Um, this saffron extract is not going to be a cure-all, but it can definitely help if that's something that you're wanting to do to, to try a little um, a natural solution instead of jumping on the medication. Um, I feel like there is a time and place for medication and I don't like to make parents feel guilty for doing it because we had to we had to go that route. It just got to the point where it was too bad. Um, so, but if there is an option that you're willing to try, um, a natural product, that I would definitely recommend giving that a try. And I was just super excited about this news clip that ABC put out. Um, if you want it, I can drop it in the comments and I'll also recommend you go back and see my original post from last night. Um, because that's the thing, that's the, Doctors, I mean, uh, Americans are wanting to go more natural. And if we see Japan is already using it as a treatment for ADHD, why can't we use it here um, instead of jumping to something more um, dramatic like medication and all the side effects that come with this? Because you're not going to have side effects with natural solutions. So I just got super excited about that. Wanted to make sure you got to watch that video because it's actually in the video they're interviewing Dr. Sean Talbot who is the biochemist that works for the company I'm promoting and he will talk to you about just briefly about the benefits of those um, herbs. So exciting. Uh, drop a comment if you are excited to to hear about another natural solution out there. Um, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.